this is Mei Yu and welcome to another fun Friday video. Every Friday I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. I've released coloring book number 6 called Super Cute Animals, an adorable coloring adventure. It's filled with my never before seen kawaii animal designs and illustrations. More info's coming later in this video. So today I'm going to be combining princesses and their sidekicks together as like one character. So this is gonna be very interesting. Um, it will be similar to some of the other combined videos I've done before. In case you haven't already, you can go check them out so you can see uh, the different ways I've combined characters in the past. Uh, I'm gonna start with Belle and Philippe her horse for this video. Uh, I wonder how they're gonna turn out. Originally I was thinking about combining Belle with one of the characters from the castle like either Lumiere or Cogsworth but I was thinking technically they are beast sidekicks and you know although they do spend a lot of time with Belle I wanted to do something with just like her sidekick so I was thinking you know Philippe is you know he's such a cute horse I really like his design and as I was thinking about uh, Belle and Philippe put together I was thinking about um, you know I could actually do this really interesting design uh, that is more like a fantasy creature uh, and I know lots of you have been asking for more like mythical kind of creature designs in the past so I thought this would be like the perfect opportunity for me to uh, go in that direction and so I decided to combine the princess and her sidekick in this way. I think it's fun because Belle is such a graceful elegant uh, princess and Philippe is this big strong looking horse um, so it's it was uh, I had to really think about how to balance the two sides of my design so that the character makes sense and it's not like you know um, you know one part of her is really dainty or you know really like elegant and the other part is super strong looking I wanted to have like a balanced unified like cohesive look oh by the way thank you to all of you for your lovely comments and your wonderful name ideas and how you felt what my piece represented in my previous video I love reading all of your comments thank you so much Correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I think uh, Philippe's breed is a Clydesdale or something close to a Clydesdale uh, because of his really like big fluffy super cute hooves. Um, but anyways, I was thinking about Philippe's like uh, physical design and I really really love those like I just love his hooves, they're so cute. Um, but I wanted to do something a little bit, just slightly more refined in my design. Uh, I thought his really muscular legs would not work so well with my, uh, the fantasy character that I'm reimagining here. So I wanted to slightly portray my horse legs as finer and just slightly more elegant looking so that it could fit with the upper half of her body but I did want to keep those giant hooves I love them so much oh they are so fluffy and I also liked how I designed the let's say quote gloves <laughs> around the legs I think it's a really interesting fit I was taking a look at the different design elements in Belle's uh, ballroom gown and I liked how sometimes she has these folds of fabric that kind of like um, uh, like it kind of hangs from different parts of her dress to create this curved look so I was thinking about different ways to incorporate that element further into my design and kind of like rearrange them or redesign them in ways so it could fit onto my fantasy character design better and I really like how you know it's just taking these little bits and then placing them throughout the design I thought that was really fun 
When I was coloring her, I wanted to give her hair color a slightly more lighter look. I do like to get the contrast of Belle's like dark hair against the light skin, but I also like how Philippe's mane is kind of like this. Sometimes it's like I was looking at different pictures of him. Sometimes it's yellow. Sometimes it's like more of a hay color like a pale beige color so I was trying to get a few different uh, variants into her hair and then the way I design her hair like as it fans on the bottom I like to keep the little straight edges on the tips so it kind of you know goes back to Philippe's main design. I love challenges like this because it really forces me to think in very different ways and I view that when you exercise your mind and your creativity like this, it is really helpful to, I guess, just expand your abilities and your skills and just how you think in general, which is really helpful for becoming a better artist or just like a better... Uh, like a better creative person in general. So I really like doing these challenges and sharing them with you. I know lots of you, especially the ones you told me in your comments, you are learning so much from my videos and I'm just really glad that you are finding a lot of value and, you know, like enjoyment from my art making process. And that's one of the reasons why I also uh, I'm very proud of all of you who have gotten my how to draw ebooks and workbooks from the Mayu bookstore on Amazon. I'm glad that you uh, find it helpful for you to learn how to draw all kinds of things to help improve your own art, like how to draw different eyes, hands, like, you know, faces, hairstyles, expressions, outfits. And I'm just so happy that all of you are continuing on your own artistic journey. Keep up the good work, everyone. You know, practice really does make perfect. And the more you draw, the better you draw. I decided to not give her a tail and instead give her this, uh, like this elegant, um, like almost like a dress on the back kind of like a train so I, I thought that was an interesting like dress design for my uh, centaur character I'm always really proud and happy when I look back on my previous art challenges and it's always nice to see how I reimagined Disney princesses in different ways I like literally have a big like huge collection of all the art that I've done from previous videos it's just nice to you know go through them once in a while and to see like just how differently I turn them into various forms. I also think some of the very little like subtle details I put in my design like the little ears sticking out from her hair and also the way I left that white area on her forehead down to her nose it adds to the subtle hints of her sidekick. Let me know in the comments what you think of my Belle and Philippe combined. If you want, let me know what name you give her. Oakley Dokley. The second princess and sidekick pair is gonna be Milan and Mushu, so I don't know how I'm gonna turn a pretty young girl and a lizard, no, not lizard, dragon character and combine them together in a way that is still nice looking and appealing. I have no idea. So I'm gonna say this challenge was one of the harder ones uh, that I've done in recent times uh, because of just how different Mushu and Mulan look like compared to each other and they're all like both of the characters are very distinctive in their own special ways but how am i going to combine them together so it's they still look like them like you can still see parts of each individual character but when they combine together it looks like a nice unified whole and when i was doing the concept sketches for this one i originally like my first idea it, it was very weird looking. I was sketching it out and then I'm like, eh, no. Cause it looked, literally it looked like nightmare fuel. So I did not want to go in that direction. It was just really, really creepy. And then I tried to go in another direction. It was just this, 
you know, process of like how, what part of which character do I choose to include and how would I include them and which parts of each character would I not want to include. So it was this really like, um, <laughs> Like, it was quite a process, uh, but eventually I came upon this design, so I think it's a lot nicer to look at. I decided to uh, give my combined character this graceful upper female form. Uh, with Mulan's hair, I decided to make it a little bit longer and make it like kind of swish out. I like that swishy movement. And I was looking at Mushu's ear design, so I felt the, the shapes looked similar to me. So I decided to kind of merge Mulan's hair, like the end of the hair, into a shape that reminds me of Mushu's ear, just the one. And then on top of her head, I was thinking about how to incorporate uh, Mushu's horns without actually making them into horns because I thought that was just too easy. So I wanted to incorporate it, like merge it more. And I felt uh, adding these cute little, almost like uh, wispy pigtails on top of her head that are colored the same color as his horns was a really good idea. I also incorporated Mushu's like fuzzy, like furry cheeks. And then as for the body, I thought to uh, give her this elegant, like dragon's tail so all in all i feel this design is nicely incorporated and the i feel the the balancing of the two characters is uh like it's quite satisfying and it's you know it's what i was thinking in my head where i wanted to create a character that was appealing but also it satisfied the challenge in case you're new to my channel you can see how i drew mulan in 10 different art styles on my channel and for those of you who are waiting for part 5 of the series where I draw one character in 10 different art and cartoon styles uh, I'm glad to say that part 5 is currently being uh, like it's I'm working on it and I hope to have it out kind of soonish in the near future so check back and in case you have it, you can subscribe so you won't miss my new videos oh I can't wait My sixth coloring book is out now called Super Cute Animals, An Adorable Coloring Adventure. It's filled with my original kawaii designs of cute pets, wild animals, and fantasy creatures. These designs are simpler compared to my other coloring books, so they're great for all ages and for those who may not have the patience or time to color intricate detailed art. Super Cute Animals is great for colorists, casual and aspiring artists, and fans of chibis, kawaii things, and of course, animals. There are two sets of 25 cuddly designs, so it's double the fun because you've got an extra copy of each of my 25 unique images, making a total of 50 amazing coloring pages. With a duplicate of each page, you can now experiment with different color schemes, try other art mediums, or do challenges like what I did before with markers versus gel pens of the same image, or colored pencils with markers, so that way it's really interesting to see like how they compare or how differently they turn out. Or you can, you know, try like a blind pick with one, then something different for the other copy. You can also get a friend or a family member to color with you, or, you know, just relax together, challenge each other, it's up to you. It's also really nice to have a backup in case of mistakes. Trust me, being an artist, I've been through a lot of different silly mistakes in my art process. But, you know, now there's no pressure to get it right the first time, just color and relax. Like my other coloring books, you can use a wide variety of markers, gel pens, colored pencils, and crayons. I've been seeing some awesome new fan creations on Instagram uh, with the hashtag MayArt, so thank you all for posting them. Keep sharing yours on there and on uh, Amazon, and I'll try to include some in a future video. Own or gift this adorable color adventure for yourself or for a loved one. It's on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. The link is in the video description. I hope you all have an awesome time coloring! That red color just really makes this design pop. If this character was in some kind of movie, what do you think her powers would be? Like, 
Would she be able to breathe fire or would she be able to, I don't know, fight with swords? Also, how, like, would she be small or big? Hmm. All these questions is really interesting to think about. Let me know your ideas and any fan theories in the comments. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Do you want to see more combined videos like this? Let me know in the comments about which other characters or pairings. And also hit that like button and subscribe in case you haven't so you won't miss my future videos. And I will see you next fun Friday. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day. There are over 50 books now on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon, all in one convenient place. The link is in the video description. See you next week. I've got another exciting Fun Friday video planned. Till next time.